When? When the first play of the game is a rip baseline layup and then a dunk in transition against us, the tone is set. The tone is set. Again, valiant effort. We fought to make it interesting, but you just set the tone with with that. And um, I misread us. I really thought we'd be ready to chest a little bit more. They're really good, don't get me wrong, and they made some tough shots, especially early. But uh, it just, those first two possessions are like, now they're confident as hell. And, uh, and their defense is tough, and we finally adjusted to it, and we're able to get some stuff. But um, I just, I'm just really, you know, I'm really disappointed that uh, we couldn't put our chest on some people more early, so they wouldn't be as confident. Why is it the other team that's setting the tone early in your building? It's a great question, Tom. Great question. I, <laughs> I defer to my guys. We got a lot of guys that have played. Uh, I, I told them in there. I said I really misread you. I thought from practice we'd be really digging in and hungry and and a little more fight to us. And I know we're not the most athletic group, right? I know that. But uh, uh, but we we have had times when we have put our our chest in there. And um, but it, I mean you're just digging out of a hole again. Just. Hey, we made it, what was it, six? Did we get it to six? That's Twice. unbelievable. Twice. It felt like we were down 40. And, and, um, and, and it was, we got it, we got it there, and it was such a weird night, but it just, the start was, uh, just killed us. So, especially here, disappointing coming back home when you need one. I mean, we couldn't get it. Is, is this too fragile to fix? Let's talk Thursday. Let's talk Thursday. Uh, you know what? I defer to our leadership and our captains. I've got old guys. They do have ownership of themselves, and they, you know, uh, but I, I certainly haven't been able to help them much. I just told them that. I've, I've done a horrible job with you, fellas. I, I just, I, I thought, I misread you. I thought we, I thought we, we would be more ready to compete there. And, um, you know, that, that's, again, that's, that's the boss's responsibility. Totally accountable. Totally accountable. You, Mike, last week you said you, you know you start thinking about what you have to say to the team when you lose. You had a lot of time to think about it. Yeah, no, no Tonight, question. Have you, have you have you run out of messages? Yeah, yeah, no, you do run out of stuff. To, uh, uh, you do, you do run out of stuff, and um, you do. And and again, you know, it, it's this is a group that's played a lot of basketball. They're thoroughly disappointed where they're at. Thoroughly, and we all are. We all are. Um, <clears throat> but you know, then it, if it was all freshmen, you know, you, you, you but it's it's some old dudes. And um, and I, I told them in there. I said, you know what, fellas, I love you, like Kyle Bray, but I think I've spoiled you, like I've done Kyle Bray at times. <laughs> I swear to God, I told them that. I said, I love you, like Kyle Bray. I love you, but I think I've spoiled you. So we'll figure it out. How Try so? and figure it out Thursday. How so? How I'm probably too nice and too, too. How's your psyche and how's your head and be positive. You know how Coach Mike does it. Hey, rah rah! Everybody get confident. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, that's that's a. Uh, just I misread us. God, I thought we'd really stick our nose in there. And again, we we made it interesting and we battled and whatever. But to start a game, rip baseline layup, transition dunk. Now, now Florida State. Ooh, we got them. Oh, now they're making tough shots because they're feeling good. I mean, it's just this what it is. I just, it is. And um, play some zone that helped us a little bit, you know. And and we'll have to continue to do that. But uh, you know. God, I spoil everybody. I spoil everybody. Everybody. People that work with me, everybody spoil. Everybody spoil.